I'm going to start off with the task bar on the right hand side here. So this is usually shrunk the amount of people that I've talked to in the past that have never clicked this button and made it come out. Uh, you'll be able to tell whether the task has never been used because it will come up with get started on the right if you've never used it the whole time. Um, so probably my favorite thing about here is the amount of areas you can bring into tasks. So the way I use it and the way I manage it is generally around um, email follow up or even day to day tasks. So uh, example of that being, um, let me just quickly pick an email from here. So Lucinda Baldwin, uh, reference checks for CM director role. So if I wanted to follow up on that, it's as easy as clicking and dragging if I already know what that is. Uh, another way I can get that in there is by going into here. And I know one of our team members, our marketing manager, Julia, who I think is sitting on here, found this out the other day that you can add to tasks directly from the email itself if you're already in there. What I love about this function is that uh, from here, you can basically adjust the name and the details. Uh, you can set it in different tasks, uh, which I won't dive into that detail. Um, you can set deadlines for what you want, including times and deadlines. Adam, can I interrupt really quickly? Because you know I like to do that. Yeah, for sure. So I know Julia will be watching this and she'll be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So super exciting, breaking news. The reason Julia found this task the other day is because it's actually been added as a button, a brand new button up the top. So whereas Adam had to click on the three dots and go into the more menu, you don't have it yet, Adam, but Julia's got it. She's obviously in the early stages of a rollout. So there is actually a new button coming up there called add to task. Perfect, very yeah. good. Um, so that's the great thing about with G Suite as well. There's always these new buttons that appear and new functions. So I think if you're looking at these buttons, and this is another point um, to make, if you're looking at these buttons and you've never used them before, uh, click on them, see what they do. Uh, I think that's the best way to explore G Suite because you're not always going to be getting um, updates coming straight from Google. So sometimes things just appear. Have a look, have a play around in your environment and make sure that you try to utilize the tools as much as you can. Um, so within here, you can add subtasks. So if it's more project-based and you've got things below that that you need to do, obviously you can add that. I think my favorite part around the tasks piece is once you've set the deadlines in, uh, we'll just pick a deadline here. It's easily sortable, but the main thing for me is to be able to quickly come back to an email. So if I know that there's a task and I need to get back to this email and it's three days later and I've forgotten where the email is and I don't know where I need to search for it, it's as simple as clicking on that and it'll take me straight to the email that that task is related to. Um, so that just helps me navigate my inbox without using search functions or anything. It's literally using my tasks. Uh, you can have multiple task sections as well. So if you've got multiple teams, uh, I used to split my tasks up by my teams. Or if I'm working with somebody in particular a lot, I'd even have a task section just between myself and that person. 